there are several parameters which have to be considered uh, to select the perfect invert for a PV system. What you can see in the figure are IV curves of the PV system. Um, you see the voltage uh, on the X axis and the current on the Y axis, and the different colors represent different IV curves of the system. Uh, with the uh, modules uh, interconnected in series and in parallel under different conditions. First of all, let's have a look at the green curve. Uh, the green curve represents the standard testing conditions, so at 1000 watts per square meter and a module temperature of 25 degrees Celsius and an air mass of 1.5. So C is the slope of the curve uh, with a maximum power point uh, marked with this green spot. Um, what now has to be considered is that the inverter has several technical parameters which have to um, which limit uh, the capacity of the inverter. On the one hand, you have a maximum voltage uh, which the inverter can handle. You see in this case here, this inverter has a maximum voltage of 1000 volts. Um, this is the typical value for modern inverters. Um, so the maximum voltage which can the Inverter handle is 1000 volts. If the voltage would increase above this value, you might damage uh, the inverter. So we have to uh, check this if the PV generators, uh, so the number of uh, modules connected in series, um, what is the resulting voltage, and is this voltage, the maximum voltage, um, smaller than the uh, limiting voltage of the inverter. On the other hand, you see here on the top on the y-axis the maximum current. So in this case, the inverter has a maximum current uh, of 12 amperes. So again, the same uh, consideration. Uh, the maximum current of the inverter uh, limits the number of strings uh, you can interconnect. Uh, of course, this value depends on the type of the inverter. The maximum voltage is typically uh, independent of the inverter. Um, and then, of course, there's a, a third uh, limit, the power limit. Of course, the inverter cannot handle uh, unlimited power. Uh, the number of the modules gives you the power of your PV generators. And uh, you have to select the correct power uh, of your inverter. Next, uh, there's an MPP control range. So the inverter is just able uh, within this MPP voltage range to identify the MPP uh, on the IV curve of the PV generator. So in this case, the uh, range goes from 320 volts up to 800 volts. Um, so the MPP of so this marked spots on the IV curve must be within this MPP range um, that the inverter is able to identify this maximum power point. Uh, what you can now see is that there's uh, four different IV curves. We have this green one, as I said, this is the IV curve under standard testing conditions, but uh, what is also uh, checked is what is uh, happening under uh, different conditions. On the one hand, let's start with the blue curve. Blue curve is again at 1000 watts per square meter irradiance and a module temperature of plus 70 degrees. So a situation typically for a, a summer day, hot uh, ambient temperature. Uh, so the modules get warm uh, until uh, up to 70 degrees Celsius. So what's happening, of course, the voltage is dis decreasing of the uh, PV modules as uh, with the increase of the uh, module temperature, the voltage, voltage is decreasing. And of course, also the uh, MPP uh, is decreasing. But still, the IV curve, the MPP in particular, must be within this yellow marked MPP control range of the inverter. On the other hand, the orange curve represents a situation on a clear sky day in winter, 1000 watts per square meter, so uh, perfect conditions at noon, but a module temperature of minus 10 degrees Celsius, so very cold conditions. Um, this, what's happening in this case, the voltage is increasing. You see this on this orange curve that the IV curve um, has a different slope. Um, 
small module temperatures lead to an increase of the voltage. And this is represented by the shift of this orange curve and also the MPP point or the, the spot is moving to the right so that the, the maximum power point has been uh, increased. But this MPP must still be within this MPP control range. And finally, uh, we consider a fourth condition, just 100 watts per square meter, so it's very small irradiance with a module temperature of plus 30 degrees. You see, of course, this different slope of the curve. Uh, smaller irradiance means smaller uh, current, uh, but still the MPP must be within the MPP uh, control range of the inverter. So let's sum up all these uh, parameters which have to be considered. So we have on the one hand, let's check, of course, we need to check the power limit that the uh, power of the PV modules um, is not uh, larger than the uh, power limit of the inverter. Um, second uh, issue is the maximum voltage. So that the maximum voltage uh, coming from the uh, open circuit voltage, of course, uh, of the PV modules uh, is not larger than this uh, uh, second limit. The third limit is the maximum current. So that the uh, number of strings uh, doesn't exceed this this uh, limit, um, and finally we have to check uh, the MPP control range. MPP control range, so that the maximum power point under different conditions. You can see this uh, these four different conditions. Um, that the MPP still lies within this uh, control range, so um, that we have at, uh, let's say, 4.1 is at 1000 watts per square meter and plus 25 degrees Celsius. So that's uh, STC, uh, 4.2 is uh, 1000 watts per square meter and uh, plus 70 degrees Celsius, uh, 4.3 is again 1000 watts per square meter at minus 10 degrees Celsius. And finally, 4.4, 100 watts per square meter irradiance and a temperature of plus 30 degrees Celsius. So uh, you should check all these uh, uh, limits, these uh, seven different limits uh, that uh, your PV system fulfills uh, these uh, fulfills this, uh, these uh, seven uh, limits. In this case, uh, the interconnection of the modules uh, and the inverter fits uh, perfectly. Of course, if you uh, have the situation that the maximum voltage, for example, might be larger uh, under specific uh, conditions, not under normal conditions, but under specific conditions, that might not be that big problem, of course, the inverter is typically able to handle values which are slightly larger uh, than this uh, limit. That's not a hard limit, um, but it should not occur that often that this uh, limits uh, um, are not fulfilled, that uh, maximum voltage is uh, larger, the voltage of the PV generators is larger than this maximum voltage value. Uh, and in particular, uh, that the MPP of your uh, PV modules uh, lie outside of this MPP control range, um, because if the MPP of your uh, PV system is not within this MPP control range, that the MPP is uh, larger or smaller than this uh, range of the inverter, that leads to a drop of the efficiency, and then, of course, uh, you lose energy.